Here in these vineyards lie the mysteries of a legendary wine, Tokai. French wine producer Samuel Tinon came to this corner of Hungary because of his passion for the sweet wine. When Samuel arrived in the early 90s, the nectar of kings had fallen on hard times during the country's communist era. There's something here which people are seeking, which they find more or less. It's not easy to master this wine. At the end of 2001, I was sure that I'd completely failed, but I was voted one of the best 40 wines in the world with this wine. Until the 20th century, the vineyards were spread out over 6,000 hectares, owned by noble families. Then, after the Second World War, they were nationalized and production pushed to a maximum. The wine lost much of its prestige, but with the fall of communism, investors, including foreigners like Samuel, have tried to revive the label. Tokai has inspired many a creative genius. If you love music, you watch the movie Amadeus, and when you see Mozart, well, the bottle he's holding is a Tokai. Some bottles can now fetch high prices. A wine with a golden past is once again bringing in the gold.